G'day guys, welcome back. Lovely to have you here today with me. Now, I am going to do another bloom for you. I'm just going to spray my moulds here with some 100% alcohol just to get the bubbles to hopefully not cling to the edges. I'm going to put some resin in here and in here. I'm using today the Pro Marine uh, tabletop resin. This, as I said in the other video, my previous, well, might not have been my previous one, I've got so many resins, different brands, that I need to try and use them up. I did clean this with tape, but <laughs> I've still got bits and pieces in there. All right, so I thought today I would use some metallics. So I'm not going to use white pigment paste at all. I'm going to use metallic pigment paste um, and just see how that goes. I, I don't know if it'll work and I don't know how much paste to put on there because, um, you know, with the white, it's it's very heavy. I'm just putting 10 grams in each. The white pigment paste is very heavy. So um, you know, you only need like a, a couple of drops, depending on how much resin you're mixing it in with. But these metallics that I'm using, they, they're not very heavy, I don't think. So I'm not quite sure how much to use. So it'll be a little bit of an experiment. May not work the first time, but I'm happy to give it a go and bring you guys along with. So you can watch me try it out. Now I've got a little bit left. I don't know that I want to use it all. I'm just going to make the moulds about half full. We don't need all of that. Um, you need a little bit more. So I mixed my resin. I waited 10 minutes. I decanted. And now I've got another 10 minutes before I need to start making my petals. I don't think I'll just I'll just leave that in case I need it for something else. Right, so I'm using all um, let's resin. No, not La Res. They're both L R. <laughs> La Res. I have got some molten gold. I have got luscious plum and peacock dance. So let's try those. Hey, I put them all in a nice hot water bath last night because they had hardened up as they do so I just gave them a bit of a bath boiled the kettle poured some boiling water into my bowl and set them inside that and just left them basically and then when I went to check on them again the water had gone cold but that's okay they had all gone nice and soft and runny again so that's what it did. Rightio. Um, how much, how much to put in? How much to put in is the question. I don't know. Let's do it over here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, because it's, it's like, you know, with, with the white, you only put a couple of drops in, but I'm not sure. How about we just put a bit in? I'll, I'll give that a stir. I'll scrape the bottom and then what's on the top. I'll see how that goes, hey? It might be too much, <laughs> but it's not as heavy as the white, so one would think you wouldn't need as much. Hey, that's probably too much. Um, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if I've got a tiny little mould. I used to have a tiny little mould, but it kind of got ruined. These one, oh, these are awful. These they warp and carry on. Look at, look at, look at it. It's all warped and. Anyway, let's put this in. Just for the sake of testing out this gold. Whoops, gone over. Yeah, it's got a big bump in the middle. This little mold. I just want to see what it's going to do. 
I mean, it's too early to be piping just yet, but anyway, let's do the others. That's the gold. This is the purple. Do the same thing. Stir, the, uh, stir it, wipe the bottom. Actually, it's probably way too much. You don't need much in the way of pigment paste at all, do you? Never mind. Because I've only got a tiny bit of resin in there. I guess the gold will be heavier because it's a metallic. Again, not quite sure. Um, all right, let's do this tealy colour. It's a bit thicker. As long as it doesn't sink, I'll be happy. I'm just going to pop you over there to the side for a minute. All right. Now, I've got another five minutes that I really would like to wait. What are you doing? You're not doing much, are you? Just kind of sitting there. Just sitting there, contemplating life. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll do what I normally do, and I'll just wait for my 20 minutes. Uh, and then I'll pipe. And we'll see how things go, hey? But if you've got a little bit of resin left over, you can always do a little test piece and just see how it's all going. It doesn't look as if it's sinking, which is a good thing, but I don't know if it's spreading anyway. All right, um, I think what I want to do is, I just want to take the resin's temperature. Mm, here we go. Probably not enough resin in there really to to check. No, it's not really going to to register. Um, I'm just going to I'm just going to wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just going to clean off my little probe end there because I don't want it getting stuck with resin. All right, so um, I'm just going to oh look at that one. That one's moving. Look, look. Maybe we can go. Maybe we're good to go. Look. All right. Let's um. Let's try this. Um. Now, do I want gold in the middle or gold on the ends? Oh, gold in the between the two. Yes. Let's do that. Let's do, let's do purple first, then gold. Look, it's moving, you guys. I'm going to go for it. So it hasn't been quite 20 minutes yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, oh, no, we're not doing gold first. I'm going to do the purple first on both of them, and then I'll do the gold, and then I'll do the teal, all right? Are you still with me? think so. All right. Now, let's just put a little dob in the middle. Oh, there's a hair. Where do these hairs come from? Like, seriously. All right, so that's my center. I'm coming up to 20 minutes actually. You've got another three minutes and it'll be 20 minutes. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to use my stick and I'm just going to make petals like so. And I'm going to change, actually you probably need a little bit more. I'm going to do the gold. I'm going to just 
see how many layers I can get. So I'm wiping the back of the stick on the cup, but I'm keeping what's on the top of the stick on the stick, putting it into the resin. Whoops, I spilt. I think I need quite a decent amount on there. All right, let's change to the teal. Might even be able to get like a couple on actually, if your resin's a little bit thicker. It's hanging on well. Didn't hang on as well on the um, silicone stick that I used the other day, but it's hanging on to the wooden pop stick quite well. Oops, I, don't know, I shouldn't hold it over the top, but where am I going to hold it then, hey? If I don't hold it over the top. Okay. Bit of a torch. And I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with the gold again. And then the purple. Just because I want the gold between the two. Oops, dripping. Maybe if I hold the cup like that, it won't drip into my work. Tip the cup backwards like that. <laughs> and then maybe it won't drip. <gasps> oh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. So peacocky colours, which are always pretty, aren't they? Peacocks, peacock colours, always look nice. So make sure I've got thick enough lines. It doesn't really work if you don't have thick enough lines. Might have to go back and sort of thicken a few of them up. I need to be nice and thick. Okay, now the purple again. I'm a bit off center, aren't I? Always am. And I don't mind if the colors blend a little bit. I don't think they'll blend. I think they'll just sort of stay separate, separate, but um, hopefully they'll look pretty together. See if I can get around here, if I can. Move over gold. Purple's coming in. All right. Purple over here. With my stick, I'm kind of dragging it through the resin a little bit. Like sometimes it even touches the bottom of the mold. I mean, I'm not trying to touch the bottom of the mold. I'm just sort of putting it into the resin just to kind of help it move rather than put it on top. When you use a piping bag, it's always kind of just on top. But this I'm trying to get it to sort of get into the bottom of the resin, into the resin. All right, there we go. Now I might just thicken up a couple if I need to. A couple of lines there look as if they could do with a little bit more. And I've got some left, so I'll use it up. Hopefully it's not looking too much like a dog's dinner. <laughs> Hopefully it's pretty. All right, so that will do, that will do. I think what I'm gonna do is, with the gold, I'm just gonna do a little swirl in the center. 
with the gold. Like so. All right. And that's done. That is done. All righty. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. Isn't it good to do a test piece to see, you know, that it can actually move, the resin can move earlier on because uh, I'll have to look back on my video. That was quite early in the piece, wasn't it? That I, I did that because I said oh, I'm waiting for the 20 minutes to be up. Um, the main, the main part of the piping was just before 20 minutes. I think I said I had two or three minutes to go but um yeah it's it's nice to know that i can pipe it a little bit earlier maybe um not wait for the 20 minutes but we'll see we'll see what happens um oh, i need to give it a bit of a bit of heat there a little bit of torching there's a drop in there Wish I could get rid of that little drop, but I don't think I can. Oh my gosh. No, it's just gonna look messy. Get in there. I can try and push it back in, I guess, but it might look a bit weird if I have this little tiny bit poking out. What if I can get it out? I don't wanna interrupt what's going on in there, but I'll I want to try and get that out. It's just me being picky now, isn't it? There. Oh, look. Touching here. Alright, that'll do. That'll do. Try to get it to loosen there around the edges. I don't like it to touch the mould. Um, I wonder what would happen if I just gave it a little tiny bit of heat. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. Just see what happens. I don't know. I don't know what my dogs are barking at. This is very messy just here and just here. I, I don't know what I was, I don't know why I'm messy on both those edges just there. I don't know. I'll try and fix it up a bit. Alright, let me leave it. Miss Fiddle. Look at that! I love that. That's given me some ideas of things to do. Wow. Okay, so that was, what was that? Was that like 15 minutes? I didn't know I could pipe at 15 minutes. But anyway, we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll look back on it and, and have a little look. Um, I'm trying to get my glove off. See, the thing with piping too early is that the resin can be too thin still and the colour just falls through. But when the resin is thin, you get a lot of movement, you see. So it's just a matter of deciding when to do it, I guess. Look at that. That is incredible. Little butterfly wings. Well, let's hope these two work as well. <laughs> now that, um, oh, it looks really pretty. Wow. Hope it all closes over. Hope it doesn't look too messy. <laughs> now this one I did last. So the resin may have thickened up more and not spread. Like if it doesn't spread very much, then it means your resin was a little bit on the thick side. Well, I've only got one, well, I've only got one ring of teal. Never mind. Never mind. Um, I'll have to um, do a bigger one so I can do two rings of teal. <laughs> All right, uh, I will, I guess I'll see you when we're ready to unmold, hey? So impressed with that. I'm going to look back on the video and see when that was. All right, see you tomorrow. 
right oh it's the next day these have set up I've got them in front of my window here so we're getting some beautiful natural light some sunshine coming in so let's get them out I'm so excited hopefully they're gonna be gorgeous it's gonna put that there get the other one out as well love the shimmer it's so pretty hopefully they're nice on the other side I'm a bit worried that the, the gold might have dropped a bit all right shall we have a look I'll just I'll put you over there to the side for one minute so we can have a look at this one are we ready Shall we do the countdown? Oh gosh, there's shadows everywhere. It's a problem with having, standing in front of the window. I'll do my best. All right, here we go. Oh wow, look at that. That's so pretty. Oh, the gold has dropped a tiny bit, but I don't think that matters. It looks really, really pretty in 3D. A little bit bendy still. Wow, that's so nice. What do you think? So sparkly, isn't it? Love it. All right, I guess the other one's going to be the same, isn't it? Let's have a look at the other one. All right, here we go. Same. Oh, it's so pretty. Actually, this one, this one hasn't got as much droppage maybe I did this one second what do you think oh gee I don't know about this light you guys I'm trying to get you better light but there's so many shadows here this one ha definitely hasn't got as much droppage I don't know if I did it first or if I did it second probably did it second because maybe the resin had thickened up a little bit so it didn't drop as much so pretty all right there you go so let me know what you think of these I love them and no white pigment paste hey amazing amazing all right thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed this little video and it just goes to show that you can make these 3d blooms without the white just get a different look don't you so pretty that's my favorite all right thank you so much for watching i'll see you for the next video okay bye for now